Hey guys, what's up? This is Tridip and you're watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. I'm extremely sorry I have not created a video long time because there are certain exigencies in my personal front. My mom was not keeping well and that's the reason I couldn't create any new videos as such. But today's video is extremely special for all of you because I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind away. Yes, it is artificial intelligence based platform that is going to create havoc in the entire creative fraternity. Believe me, Nvidia has come up with something which is going to change the entire paradigm. It is going to change how landscape is created in artificial intelligence way. How each and every creative mind can take control of their landscape space using this fantastic tool known as Gauguin by NVIDIA. So without much ado, let's get started. But before we start, kindly like, share and comment on this video. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our upcoming notifications. So let's get started. So as you see, this is the Gauguin platform. This is the entirely desktop based platform. Very, very, um, I would say UX wise, it is not that good. It is very simple, very straightforward to use. And before you start for the first time, it gives you a help file so that you can see which tool you can use for what. So let me first show you the basic uh, interface. So over here at the very top, it shows you input visualization, segmentation, sketch and image. You can give input as an image. You can sketch something and you can also give color segmentation of your landscape. And based on that, the this particular tool creates amazingly photorealistic landscape that will blow your mind away. I, I can I can promise you that that you will be super, super excited and totally taken aback after you see the output of this particular tool. So over here, it's very simple. The first line shows about your brush shapes. You have a circular brush tip, you have a square brush tip and you have a diamond shaped brush tip. You have a brush size of which you can actually uh, scale down as per the slider. So based on if you are painting a bigger area, you can increase this brush size. If you are painting a smaller area and trying to detail out something, you can do this with a smaller brush size. Magic wand tolerance. This is actually the selection of the shape. The lesser the tolerance, it will affect the more area. And bigger the tolerance, it will increase the, uh, it will decrease the uh, area of um, uh, effect. How, how how much area will be affected by the particular uh, tolerance level. In this next level, you have new file. You can undo, redo. You have the brush. You have the fill. You have the eyedropper tool to take different colors from one part to another. Then the pencil tool, the eraser tool, the erase scene, and all this uh, real image magic wand eraser. So if you take an image over here as a starting point, you can erase some portions of the image. This is basically the segmentation compute from a real, real image. So if you put a real image over here, it will compute the segmentation based on the color codes. Over here, compute sketch from real image. If you have given a real image input, it will create sketch over here and it will create the entire landscape from it. So this is the render, render output and this is copy output into input canvas. Okay, so this is a render output. This is a randomizer. This particular randomizer tool, what it does, it randomly generates your landscape based on the segmentation or the sketch that you have created. So each and every time you click on the randomizer, it will create a different landscape based on the topology, based on the segmentation that you have created. So now let us start doing 
what we are all waiting for okay so over here you can see building in this building you will have bridges fans house platforms roof brick wall wall stone wall wood and all the stuffs so um, since i will be using the left part of this video i will move this thing um, this um, my recording screen in the uh, the other part of the screen i think that will really help you guys or um, then you have the grounds the various ground level that you can actually create then you have landscapes where you can create clouds fog hill mountain river and whenever you click on anything and you uh, do the segmentation it always comes with different colors so that you are not lost and you can really know which thing you had created so if you see rock will be brown sea will be sky blue the sky is uh, already uh, uh, placed over here the sky default sky the snow will be gray in color the stone will be uh, this olive green sort of color the water is again uh, another version of uh, blue hills are uh, green fog darker green clouds gray and all these things have already been there then you have plants you have bushes you have flowers grass straw tree wood i am not going to tell you you can just do your r and d and you can know that what exactly this uh, particular tool does just let us start creating our own this thing own, own landscape okay so first i will create uh, say i will first create with landscape i will just go and create some water body i will just put my brush size up and i will just go on creating some water bodies over here don't worry about the um, size the shapes or these things this really doesn't matter what it wants to see is the zone that you are creating so this is the water body that i want over here okay and i will create some real mountains over here okay so i will just take some uh, squarish this thing and i will create some squarish mountain out of here, over here. Great. So now let me take these hills over here and create some. Oops, I will just reduce the brush size. Take this circular brush and I just create some hills over here okay and maybe i can go to the buildings and i create a bridge over here i want to create very simplistic outlines over here and maybe i can go to the landscape and just create some clouds for you just remember where i am creating the clouds we'll see the magic okay and let me go to some plants and put some bushes over here create some bushes over here So now I will try to enhance this bridge a little bit so that it looks nice. Okay. Yeah. 
I can also take some rocks and place over here. Lovely. So I am done. I don't want to complicate this particular uh, design in that way. Now my major uh, work will be to render this uh, particular segmentation that I have done. So I will just click on this arrow. It will give you an error. Please check the button in terms and conditions section before starting using the app. Click on OK. Go down and check this button. Okay. Once you click on that, again try and clicking this render and just wait for a few seconds. See, an amazing landscape has already been created purely by artificial intelligence. There is no 3D models created. It has been created with various images and it's been created in juxtaposed to each other like a matte painting and they have created this fabulous landscape for you. Isn't this amazing? And the best part is that now keeping these things constant, you can just change the color of the environment. Just see. Amazing. Amazing. So this my personal favorite is this one. Isn't it amazing? This is your drawing and this is exactly what they have replaced. Just see, there is one cloud over here, there is one cloud over here, there is one cloud over here, the bigger cloud is over here. Even the structure of the bridge has been maintained very nicely. The small hill, the small hill, the smaller um, mountain with the bush over here, the bush over here, the bushes over here. Just see. And now see if you want to change the colors and the hues of the environment, you can also do that. Lovely. See, even the small rock over here is not spared. It has been very nicely rendered. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Isn't it really blowing your mind away? Yes, it is. So you can just now check with various uh, adjustments and see so amazing landscape you can create if you want to save this thing click on the save icon over here you want to save this segmentation you can save it over here and you can use for future purpose also i just wanted to show you the randomizer when you click on the random style this entire scene changes see it has created the best possible just see the reflection over here the same cloud reflection over here Amazing, isn't it? You go on doing, you play with the randomizer each and every time it will give you some other landscape. But understand this thing, whatever landscape it is creating, it's totally based on the segmentation that you have created, the sketch that you have created. And see how fast it is rendering because it is manipulating images. You have a humongous amount of images in their database and you know how powerful NVIDIA's engine is. And here it goes. How much time it takes to create these fabulous landscapes. Check this particular sunset. It's amazing. It looks like a scene directly coming from the Lion King movie. So that's all folks. I will leave this particular episode for you to ponder upon to challenge your own creativity to see what amazing landscape you guys can come up with. It's all there in your creativity. How much you can extend that creative um, juices, your landscape will be created in that way. I have created a very simplistic segmentation. You can understand, you can really create layer upon layer segmentation to create a very much complicated landscape which can be rendered within seconds. 
so i think if you really like this video kindly like share and comment on this video and if you're new to this channel can you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our upcoming notifications i will try my level best to come up with new videos now from every week i will try to be um, much more regular because um, my mom is still um, uh, in the rehab state she is still um, getting better day by day i think um, she can be with all your love and affection she can be uh, better in quite some time and she can be standing on her legs very soon so i need a lot of blessings and your love keep watching keep um, getting all these exciting videos and keep your creative juices flowing guys goodbye and god bless